Imagine you're at a crime scene. Two detectives, let's call them Inspector Analytic and Inspector Continental, are on the case. Inspector Analytic is all about the details, meticulously examining the scene, taking fingerprints, analyzing blood spatter patterns, and piecing together a timeline based on concrete evidence. The approach is methodical, like solving a complex puzzle. Inspector Continental is more interested in the bigger picture, interviews witnesses, considers the psychology of the victim and potential suspects, and goes into the historical context of the crime. The approach is more interpretive, trying to understand the human condition and the deeper meaning behind the crime. At the heart of analytic philosophy is the belief that many philosophical problems stem from misunderstandings about language and its functions. By clarifying the way we use words and by rigorously analyzing logical forms, analytic philosophers aim to dissolve or resolve these problems rather than merely discussing them in abstract terms. Analytic philosophy begins in part as an attempt to apply advances in logic to philosophical problems. By applying clear logical reasoning to ethical questions, one can influence policy and individual behavior, demonstrating its practical impact. Emerging in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, analytic philosophy arose in part as a revolt against traditional metaphysical and idealistic systems. Influential thinkers like Gottlob Frege, Bertrand Russell, Ludwig Wittgenstein, and G. E. Moore spearheaded a movement to introduce a more rigorous, scientifically oriented approach to philosophical inquiries. Subsequent scholars, including W. V. O. Quine, Donald Davidson, and Saul Kripke, further enriched this tradition with substantial contributions to epistemology, philosophy of language, and metaphysics. While some philosophers argue that the continental analytic distinction can be misleading and lead to unnecessary divisions, it's important to remember that both traditions share core questions about existence, meaning, and the human experience. That's analytic philosophy in a nutshell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.